hello everyone welcome back to my channel here you can see i'm enrolled in this course databases and sql for data science and python and i am in this part of the course where i need to run python scripts for that i need a jupyter notebook and i thought about creating a video so that others can also view that watch that video and learn further how to run jupyter and install so for that you just need to go to anaconda.com i already have that opened in a new tab here you can see anaconda.com here you can scroll down and read everything if you want i don't want to read everything i will go straight to the point for that i just need to click on free download when you click on free download it will also ask you to provide email to download distribution you can skip registration by clicking here and simply choose where you want to download anaconda scroll down these are the platforms for me i use windows 64 bit graphical so i just need to click on here and you can see it is now downloading so i'll wait for some time once it downloads i'll restart the video so guys finally our download has completed so click on it and it will start running just follow the on screen instructions and it will be downloaded so let's click on next and here you if you want to read you can read all of this information or simply go ahead and click on i agree now here you can choose whether you are going to use this yourself or everybody who uses this computer or laptop you are using for me i am on my personal laptop i don't give it to anyone else so i'll be using just me and click next and after that you can choose the destination folder i'll keep it as is and as you can see already i already have this much space available it requires 5 gb of space so let's click on next and click on next and here you can see create shortcuts add anaconda 3 to my path environment variable register anaconda as my default 3.12 just uncheck this and just check this and check this as well clear the package cache upon completion just clear the package cache so that your machine is not taking up any space which is not required so let's click on install by clicking on show details you can see what's happening here it is extracting, extracting all of these files It should not take much time in the meanwhile this is running let me show you why i am using jupyter notebook so this is the section accessing databases using python and for this i needed jupyter notebook to run python scripts and uh, they provided hand on hands-on labs for python and to run these i needed jupyter notebooks here you can see they provided the download file which is dot pi and b which is a notebook extension i already downloaded that file and it should be here if i click on this and here you can see this is the file i can open this file with notebook jupyter notebook it will i'll be able to then study further with this lab so here you can see our anaconda is installing inside anaconda we will get jupyter notebook and inside jupyter notebook we will upload that file and then we can start running those scripts and so let's wait some more time all right as you can see it is completed now we need to click on next and again click on next here it says launch anaconda navigator or getting started with anaconda distribution i'll uncheck both and hit finish so as i already showed you i had downloaded this file i already have that file now i need to open anaconda just click on click anaconda prompt this will open anaconda prompt now from here you need to click on you can you need to type jupiter notebook 
here you can see it is opening right here it has opened now what we have to do is we need to upload that file which was which was here in the lab by clicking on upload and from here select the file which is this week 4 and you need to click on overwrite if there is anything it will overwrite and the newer version of the file will take its place so scroll down and here's that file let's click on it it will open a new window with the code so now you can see this is the code if I go to any of the cells here by clicking here let's create one more cell and let's see if it is working let's see print hello world and control enter here you can see it is giving the information which means we have successfully downloaded and installed and have we have successfully downloaded anaconda installed it on our machine and now we have the jupyter notebook you can also see we have run this script and it is working fine so this is how you go ahead and download the jupyter notebook for running the python scripts and other programming languages scripts if you want to if you have any questions feel free to uh, ask me in comment section i'll answer all your questions thank you